Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 50th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can insert data in a SQL table using Python. So in the last tutorial, we created a database called Python. And in that database, we also created a customer table. So I'm going to first show you guys the structure of that table. So I'll uh, go to my MySQL environment and here you go. You can see that the name of the table is customer and it has all these fields. You know, it has ID field, which is of integer type, name field, which is of varchar type, email of varchar, city of varchar, and then age of uh, integer type, gender of character type, and last visit of date type. So I'm going to, you know, put in a few rows in this table, you know, and, uh, you know, each of these uh, fields will have a, a value, right? So I'll go to my Python shell and as you can see, I've already imported the mysql.connector module and I've created a connection object and this time uh, in the parameter list for the connect function, I have also specified the database name because I know that I want to connect to the Python database because that's a database in which our table is present, right? So on the next line, I've created a cursor object and I, again, I've given it the name my cursor and I've used the cursor function for it. So uh, as I said in the last tutorial, to execute SQL code, you have to use the execute method, right? So I'll type in my cursor, my cursor dot execute, and then within parentheses, I'll uh, type in my SQL code. And again, I'll get in, uh, you know, three uh, double quotes because I know that the insert into statement is going to, you know, span over at least two lines. So I'll type in insert into, and uh, then the name of the table, which is customer. And uh, then I'll follow that up with the keyword values. And uh, then I'll go to the next line and uh, I'll get in the opening parentheses uh, for the uh, for, for putting in the values. And you know the first field was ID and it's the primary key of the table. So for each row, it needs to get a different value. So let's say for the first customer, I want the ID field to have the value one. Uh, next was the name field. And let's say I wanna call my first customer uh, Jack. Right. And uh, next was the email field. So let's say Jack's email address is Jack at uh, gmail.com. And uh, next was the city field. So let's say uh, Jack lives in London. And uh, next was, uh, I guess, the age field. So let's say Jack is 25 years old. And, uh, you know, Jack is a male. So M for gender. And let's say Jack's last visit was on uh, 17th February 2014. So I'll get in the year first and then the month and uh, wait a second, am I typing it the right place? Yeah, and then uh, the date, which is 17th February. I'll get in the closing parentheses and then three triple quotes and then the closing parentheses for the execute function. And let me make sure whether I have everything uh, in place and uh, seems good. So I'll press the enter key and uh, you know, uh, the values have been uh, pushed to the buffer and they haven't yet been flushed to the table and we'll see what we have to do to actually save these changes in the database. But uh, before we talk about that, let's create a few more uh, rows in the table. So let's say I want to have uh, another row with ID two and let's say the name of my second customer is Jill and uh, you know, let's say Jill's email address is Jill at gmail.com and let's say Jill is from uh, New York. And uh, let's say Jill is 22 years old and uh, she's a female and her last visit was on 19th February 2014, right? And uh, I'll press the entry key. And again, let's have uh, one more row and uh, I'll change the ID value to three, right? And uh, I'll change the name uh, to John. So let's say John is my third customer and uh, John's email address is john at gmail.com. And let's say John stays in uh, New Delhi. And let's say John is 26 years old and John is uh, a male. And John's last visit was on 24th February, right? Now to force these changes in the database, you have to execute the commit method and you have to call it using your connection object. So I'll type in C O double N, for that up with a dot and then commit C O double M I T and a set of empty parentheses. And when I press the enter key after typing in this, my changes have been saved to the database. And now there are two ways in which you can check out whether, uh, you know, these rows have been inserted to your table or not. The first and the easier way is to go to your uh, MySQL workbench and you can simply execute the query select star from customer, right? And, uh, when I execute this, I see that I have these three rows with the values that I supplied in the Python shell. 
and uh, you can do the same thing you can execute the same query in python shell and uh, you know that's what we're going to do now so i'll execute the my cursor dot execute function my cursor dot uh, execute and then within parentheses i'll type in select star from uh what is the name of the table customer right and uh, i'll press the enter key and uh, next i can use a fetch all method to see the results but the fetch all method returns a list right and the list has uh, individual rows as tuples uh you know as as list items it has tuples that contain data for individual rows and you know it is kind of uh, you know let me show you guys how it looks so i'll use a print function to see it and i'll type in my cursor cursor dot fetch all and uh, when i press the enter key i see this list and it's hard for me to tell you know which value is in which row i mean you know i can see that you know a tuple is starting here and then you know it's ending over here and then you have a comma and then you have the second row so you know when you have too many rows it's kind of difficult to read text uh, in this way and it would obviously be much more convenient for us if we could see you know each of these rows on different lines and you know you can do that by iterating over you know individual items in this list that is you know each row and then using uh, you know the print statement to print each row separately so we're going to do that using a for loop i'll type in for and before that i'll have to execute this uh, you know query again next you'll have to create a list variable in which you're going to store the result of this query right so i'll type in my list as the name of that list variable i'll use the assignment operator and uh, then i'll uh, you know uh, type in my cursor dot uh, fetch all and when i press the enter key now the results of this query have been saved in the variable my list and I, now i can iterate over uh, you know uh, the items in this list by typing in for and a dummy variable for my loop i'll call it x in the name of the list my list and a colon to get inside the body of for and then print and then within parentheses i'll uh, you know simply type in x and when i press the enter key i see that you know each of the three rows is displayed on a different line right so this is obviously much more neat and uh, convenient so that's it for now in the next tutorial we're going to check out some more sql code uh, and uh, you know i hope you guys are having fun in this course and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next tutorial till then take care